Greeners. With us now, Florida Congressman uh, John Micah. He is the chairman of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, which helps oversee the TSA. And, and Congressman Micah, I know you don't have all the, the details and the minutia of this arrest, but, but give me your response, if you would, to these reports that some TSA agents were helping run drugs and money up and down the East Coast. Well, it's very disappointing, and uh, unfortunately, it seems to be a repetitive pattern. And TSA is an agency that cries out for reform. Uh, this week, Congress is going to cha uh, change some of the way it operates. And uh, you say that's... reform, and, and this is overlapping. I'm sorry, sorry, sir. Uh, the satellite delay there. What reform are you talking about? Are there too many TSA agents? Are there not enough? Is it bloated? Are we spending too much money? What specifics would you change? Well, TSA, first of all, needs to be changed into a security agency, not a big personnel agency. They can't manage. Uh, now they've got, uh, we've grown from 16,500 uh, TSA screeners to f over 50,000. We have 8,000 administrative personnel in the field, more than 8,000. I have 3,820 bureaucrats in Washington, D.C., making on average $105,000 a year. So uh, it's an agency that, uh, from a cost standpoint, $2 billion to $9 billion. Uh, it's one of the biggest armies we have, uh, bigger than some of the federal uh, entire cabinet agencies. So it cries out for reform, and I think we can do that. So when you said, and I'm quoting here, this was a monster out of control, Congressman, you're more ref you're referring to the fact that just the bureaucracy of this has gotten so big and the unions have gotten so strong that TSA now has 62,000 members, and that needs to be leaned out and focused more on keeping people in the air safe. Well, most of the countries in the world have transitioned. Uh, the only countries now in sort of the Western civilized area that have all federal operations uh, and and federal operations are important for intelligence gathering for uh, developing security plans and then uh, seeing that they're executed but the only countries left like the united states are bulgaria romania poland and libya as of late but that may change too what, what's the hope of bringing private security companies in um, better security what what's your hope well Again, uh, you have to have the right mix. Uh, the federal government still needs to be in charge, set the rules, uh, set the operations, do the auditing. But right now, they're the administrator, the operator, the regulator, and the auditor. And that pattern never works. So we need to refine who does what and then hold people responsible and in a personnel management system uh, for screeners that's best run as the, the, the best models we've seen from Israel and around the world is a combination of uh, federal right. uh, and government supervision with uh, private operation. Florida Republican Congressman John Micah. Congressman, thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to well, be Fox with you. News